My name is Tata Matthews and I play Lee Bouvier. I'm Daniel Austin. I play Joseph Patrick Kennedy and uh, Jerry Torrey. I am Amy Farmer and I play Edith, the mom, in Act One and I play Little Edie, the daughter, in Act Two. So uh, the Great Gardens musical is based off of the documentary Great Gardens about Big Edie and Little Edie. The first act takes place in 1941. Uh, so they lived in East Hampton. In this house where they, the house is crazy. <laughs> and they had this very glamorous, incredible life and they were connected to the most famous and incredible people at the time. So they were um, kind of at the top of their game in the 40s and then you flash forward ahead uh, 32 years to 1973 and it's, um, it's what their life became after all the glitz and glamour went away, after all the money was gone. And letting their glorious, amazing mansion decay around them and uh, becoming these famous recluses. So they ended up living in this house by themselves, the two of them together, and they sort of just got by as they could. And they have a lot of cats, like raccoons, and their house is pretty nasty. Uh, what what they decayed into after all of the money had disappeared and after um, you know their dreams that they thought were going to come true didn't come true and where they landed. I think it's basically about how these two girls have a, it's a complicated relationship. The main focus of the play is on the relationship, dysfunctional as it may be, between Big Edie and Little Edie. And so sometimes they're like all friendly and then they can get like drama-ish. Uh, this is about people who've lost everything. They had a series of difficult things that happened to them in their lives. And because of that, they sort of got stuck where they were. Um, never really left the Hamptons, never really started leaving the house. Edie was the one who was charged with being the caretaker of her mother as they had decayed. And I think being so used to being wealthy and having everything given to them and having servants and having you know drivers and caterers and gardeners and then to have that all pulled out from under them, they had no means by which to cope. They didn't know how to go out in the world and make their own money. Uh, as strange and as odd and as very specific this tale is about really these two women and the rest of the people in their lives, uh, the themes really are universal because everybody experiences loss, everybody experiences difficult family relationships, everybody experiences, you know, trying to go for their dreams, whether it works out for them or not. I think the biggest thing people will, will take away from this is uh, regret. I think to me that's one of the biggest themes is I shoulda, I coulda, I woulda. The pain and the joy and the difficulty of all of that together uh, comes out in this show. I think uh, the highs, there's lots of highs and lows. There's moments of utter joy when, you know, everybody's happy and everything's going great and it's wonderful and then it just crashes to the floor even in Act One and it's, it all goes away. Uh, because I think that's life. I think life has, you know, all of that joy and sadness mixed together and, you know, it's up to us to sort of, you know, make our way through that and, and find joy where we can. I think it's uh, got a undercurrent of hope. There's always that next thing I can do or that next step I can take. If this didn't work out, there's one more thing I can do. And I think it's, um, I think it's being content with what you have, contentment with your surroundings and your, your, your lot in life. Uh, so in the show, there's singing, there's dancing. Comedy, drama. Strong music, strong actors and actresses. Incredible costumes. Sadness cats and cat food cans. Um, there's a little bit of fuddiness. Corn, there's definitely corn. Yeah, there's corn for sure. Uh, beautifully produced, beautifully written. It's a musical, of course, so there's like lots of songs and dancing, but it's not a huge over-the-top dance musical. A, a band that will blow your mind. I will be live eating corn every night. It's just, it's the full Broadway experience on a smaller scale in Northeast Florida. I think there's, you know, something for everybody in that regard. Grey Gardens is a play you should see for yourself. Grey Gardens is a play you should see for yourself. 
Grey Gardens is a play you should see for yourself. Thank you.